Sorry, we just had to show off uh, <clears throat> cinnamon rolls that a uh, customer brought us. Eh, trying to get the trap out. What the hell am I doing in this video? Oh, we've got a uh, Schley handle set to look at. While it's here momentarily, it's not going to be here very long, but uh, we're going to take a look at the new product design on the Schlage handle sets. I don't know how new, but fairly new. So let's take a look at it. Okay, y'all, we have a new product design, new product design stickers, new stickers on a Wakefield 605. This is so beautiful. I love the Wakefield design Schlage. Uh, I can't say I've done too many videos on Schlage handle sets in particular. This was a special order because we have uh, ready access to uh, dark bronze and satin nickel, as everybody does, but it's not often where we get to bring in, bring back the beautiful polished brass. I love this handle set. I love most of the handle sets, but this one in particular is Looks really nice on doors. Um, now, you know, there's a there's always been a big debate about bright brass. Hey, what's up? Um, some there's actually communities around us that. Let me go get a little microfiber cleaning cloth for that. All right. Well, I didn't have a microfiber cleaning cloth, but these blue towels are pretty soft. I'm just gonna check out. This fella looks good. And uh, so the redesign, I believe, uh, I did see a post on Reddit when I was on Reddit. I'm not on Reddit anymore, but um, I saw a post where somebody had a flat bottom one. I can't remember the kind, but it was off just a bit. Now that is the biggest pet peeve that I've always had with handle sets is uh, a company comes along and then redesigns it, uh, you know, a few years or 10 years after production and it's off just a bit and that seems to be the case with these and i think what the redesign was is this is more centered i'm going to look at the inside now whenever you buy these handle sets you have to buy the outside and the inside part depending on what kind of trim you want being a doorknob this is the geo doorknob and you can also get like accent lever handles so you would order this for the outside and the inner trim comes with the doorknob and either the single cylinder deadbolt, which is what we have here. Again, ooh, it's kind of dirty right out of the box. Look at that, it's weird. Almost, it makes you go into a panic thinking that there's something wrong with it, but it's actually something wrong with it. <laughs> there is actually something wrong with this one. Okay, well then, uh, we will need to send this back, but in the meantime, all right guys, so we are uh, at the point now, I had a customer come in dealing with another slug problem, but we are here with this spotted. Unfortunately, that spotting is baked into the finish, so I'm going to have to send this back, and then I was looking at the rest of it here, and it looks like, and it's, it's kind of minor, but at the same time, if you flip it around, there's some pretty good little scratches right there, unfortunately. Um, so that wouldn't matter as much as if we mounted it upside down, because you can do this. Uh, we're going to finish looking at the new design part. As far as the deadbolt, the deadbolts and the latches, everything appears to be identical there. And again, it looks like we have the standard cap, the standard strike kit. Looks okay. Same as before. Um, but yeah, this is the uh, new handle set. I did forget the outer deadbolt part here. Let's check it and make sure it's all right. 
Hey Kim, Kim's patiently waiting for the end of this video so that she can call the distributor and tell them the bad news. Hi guys. Yeah, there she is. <laughs> that does not go there. What is this? Wait a minute. Something's funky here. What is this? Oh, this goes, yeah, 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 yeah. You can go ahead and get them on the phone. So, anyway, uh, again, the cylinder itself. Let's look at the inside. We see, oh, it is. This is different. This is different, I believe. This looks a little bit different to me than uh, how they normally were. You can drop the cylinder out, of course. It's the same cylinder that's been in production for a while, so likely it's pretty chamfered in the plug. Um, I've shown that you can cut a key deeper by a whole depth all the way across the board, and it still works. Um, so I'm going to probably switch the thumb turn out with one of ones from a deadbolt. And uh, er, I guess I'm gonna maybe not worry about those scratches. I hate doing that but uh this customer really needs it and can't wait another day or so and i am actually going to put this back together but anyway i guess the really the only new thing about all this is how it is centered right there hopefully this new design will hold up better they didn't hold up too bad. This F-Series design has, of course, been around forever. Um, but again, this is one of my favorite handle sets for residential use. One good thing about them, one super good thing about them, obviously, is you can switch the core out. The core will switch out. You can put in a Asa core. You can put in a Medico core. Most places have cores that will fit in this deadbolt area. Um, of course, with the six pin core, it's gonna stick out a little bit further, but that screw should still engage the cylinder. And if we look at the rotation, um, so you do have an issue, probably you would have an issue with the rotation. So you most likely would have to take this bar with this pivot style out and replace it in, say if you were using an Asa or a, a Schlage, uh, you could probably order this handle set with the Schlage, you know, uh, the higher duty with it. Even if you wanted Primus, you could likely get that done as well. But anyway, there we go. That's it. If you have any questions or comments on this or any other Schlage products, I'll try my best to help. Thanks for watching y'all. And we are about to call the distributor to let them know the bad news. I realized right before I got done that I forgot to mention one of the best, most important parts about Schlage handle sets is this adjustable doodad right here. Yay! This is the through bolt that you have to drill in the bottom of the door to make a handle set work. You do have to drill this. However, most of the time if you're replacing a handle set, sometimes there is a difference between yay and yay. And uh, this allows you to just freely move it up and down. Also makes it much easier during install because you don't have to be dead on to make it work. This gives you a lot of leeway. So anyway, just thought I'd mention that. Cause I forgot to, that's another thing that I love about the Schlage handle set. Update two on this handle set. Uh, yeah, another thing that I kind of forgot to point out and I kind of actually don't know for sure, but I know on some handle sets, uh, on previous generations of them, when you do this, it actually turned the inside knob or lever. I don't know, I don't think this is the new addition, this split spindle, so it swivels independently here. So if this was on the door, it would not affect the knob, but you could use the knob and it would not trigger anything on the outside. So let's put this latch 
back on. And we see, press them down, goes in, of course. And uh, this does look redesigned a little bit. I know it's kind of hard to see, but it's this part right here. I don't recall that being like an open circle like it was. And again, really hard to see in there. Um, but once we attach the inner trim to the outer trim, like we were mounting it on a door, watch where this split is right here okay so when we go onto the door this will be out a little bit most doors and we put the knob on and it goes just into the square that's recessed i believe that's recessed a little bit deeper than it was for the redesign um, but when the knob is out here watch so it's independent, right? Independent acting. However, if you're using it on a thinner door and you tighten it down all the way, look at that. It does react, but it does not make that turn when it's narrow. So if you are using this on a thinner door, uh, you will get some action on the outside thumb turn when you turn it. Um, but that really is only on a super thin door because if you back it off just a little bit, it doesn't react then. So otherwise on a super thin door and it being a little more kind of guess streamlined in here, I'm not going to take this apart, but I believe when they refer to updated mechanism they refer to that part of it uh which means i don't know what that means y'all anyway just thought i'd update you with another thought about them that's it thanks for watching y'all also on my note our distributor is having to overnight us one hopefully they were able to get it out today so the customer could get it tomorrow but it was 4 15 when i was doing this video and discovered that so there might be an issue with uh, getting it for this customer by tomorrow. Y'all keep your fingers crossed that she uh, gets it out overnighted.